He's back. He said he'd be back. He's back. At least for a little bit. And I think he did a pretty good job. Terminator Dark Fate, number six in the franchise, I want to say. And personally, the only good sequel after T2. Sorry, Jeremy, um, if you are for whatever reason watching this. I actually like the movie. I personally disagree with you. I actually liked the way the movie started. I do see your point, but I personally liked the neat little twist that happened with the movie. I don't think this movie was necessary at all, but I thought it was fun. Like, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm gonna liken this movie to Halloween 2018. This movie says that these sequels don't exist, and this movie says these three bullshit sequels don't exist. I do not like the Terminator sequels. After Judgment Day. I'm not biased. But let's get into the actual meat of the situation. Uh, the story about this is like every Terminator film. You know, the rogue AI that's trying to murder all the humans sends a Terminator back to kill a person that is somehow connected to leading resistance. If you didn't think that was what she was from the trailers, you were wrong. And Resistance sends her person back to save them. Thus completely f***ing up the timeline and changing everything that's supposed to happen. Except in the first Terminator. That one actually explain, actually makes a little bit of sense to how it occurred. But you're, you're messing up the timeline by doing this and potentially completely screwing yourself, you stupid AI mother. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> back to the actual movie. I thought it was entertaining. There are a lot of um, action fight scenes in the film that for the most part are grounded in reality until the end of the movie when it kind of goes full action, which that bothered me a little bit, but at the same time, I personally enjoyed it. There is a bit of an explanation as to why Arnie is in the past, like how his Terminator is there. But that explanation is a little weak, in my opinion. So there's a deleted scene in T3 where it's revealed that Arnie um, is actually... That the T-800 is based off of an Army... A U.S. Army commander that was who Arnold was supposed to be. I would think it would be kind of interesting if... He... Um, if that was him, just as a little nod to T3, but I, I don't know. Um, the way they did it I thought was a little dumb, but it also makes sense, is weird. If you like dumb action movies, you'll probably enjoy this. Terminator isn't a franchise that really lends itself to sequels. Acting, that's what I wanted to talk about. The acting in this movie is really good. Like, all of the actors do a very solid job with what they're giving. Though some of it is extremely stupid, solid job with what they're given, so they put on a good performance. It's an entertaining movie, and I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, no, it's... I thought it was fun. I liked what it did with the material. I liked that it tried to take it in a different direction than the other movies have been. Overall, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I can see why people wouldn't agree with that. The certain things that they do, certain characters, kind of completely screws over their legacy. But if all you're looking for is an entertaining Terminator film, this has got that in droves. You don't have any stupid plot points about John being a t turned into a Terminator, which completely f***s over everything that the other movies did. You don't have Salvation, which is somehow boring despite being set in the future. You don't have T3, which is f***ing Arnie in goddamn glam rocker f star shades. I still am never going to get over that. I very much enjoyed this movie, and so for me, I would say that it rolled a f 15 out of 20. Highly enjoyable movie, but honestly could have been better in certain aspects, but again, I just watched it as an action movie. I didn't try looking at it as how it compared to the Terminator sequels. I, If you think differently than me, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know your opinions. Alright, well, that's all I have, guys. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links are going to be in the description down below. And, yeah, that's all I really have for now. Peace out, guys.